What's up, YouTube? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to play defense at NBA 2K24, how to run all the rotations that pros do not want you to know. Uh, trust me, guys, the NBA 2K League pros do not want you to know this information because it's going to even the playing field. A lot of you guys might ask, Fab, why are you showing me this? Number one, if you found this channel, hey, man, you're already ahead of the competition. I provide the best information and uh, tips and tricks in 2K24. And plus, I'm cocky, bro. I've been one of the best point guards in the whole world for 10 plus years, made over six figures playing 2K. It's it's light work for me, and I feel like if you run this on me, I should be able to figure out what defense you're running, and I should be able to dot it because of my experience. But you'll see if you sprinkle these in and like know when to call them and call them at the right time and sprinkle it in with a little bit of man defense and stuff like that. You'll become unstoppable on defense. You have the best defense in the world. And as we all know, defense wins championships. So remember, guys, uh, there's a counter to this. I'm going to make a counter video on how to dot rotations and how to, like, score rotations. But for now, this is how I run rotations and stop the best guards on the game. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. So right away, we're going to watch some good defensive gameplay. Right here, this is BP. If you guys don't know who BP is, best dribbler in 2K history. So we got our hands full already. He's, he's one of the best scorers of all time. Uh historic point guard he's really good so everyone on this court it's is really elite 2k league level talent at every position so we're gonna make this simple to start off guys point guard i'm the point guard point guards are always guarding the lock every single time a lot of locks like spot up on the left so you're you're usually going to be on the left side if you're a point guard but i usually like to follow the lock no matter where the lock is so if the lock uh, is on the right, I go to the right. If he's on the left, I stay on the left. So point guards guard the lock, no matter what. Uh, the centers usually guard the power forward. So power forward's in the other corner. Uh, my center's right here, Ramo. He guard in the right corner. The shooting guard always guards the hash. Uh, so he could, the shooting guard usually has a lot of defense, steal, perimeter, and also he's the best route runner and scorer. So when the ball goes up, he leaks out. So make sure you guys have a shooting guard. Power forward always guards the PNR. Power forward's always matched up against the center. The power forward has interior, steal, block. He has high defensive rebound. Uh, stage piece has a 93 defensive rebound, gold rebound chaser. Rainbow has an 84 rebound. He's out the corner. He has 79 block, uh, but he has 99 O board. So the centers like to go 99 O board, 84 defensive rebound. The power forwards have low offensive rebound, and they like to go high defensive rebound. So power forward's job is to box out the center and grab D boards, and Rainbow swoops in and grab the board. So, and then the blue hair guy is Ado. That's the lockdown. Of course, lockdown's job is to make it as hard as possible for the point guard to get crabs or open shots. Like you gotta play the best defense possible. But as we all know, with Patty Mills jump shot, guys. It's really, really hard to get stops now. It's offensive 2K now. Meter dunks, midi fades, uh, crabs, patty mills in your face. So this is an offensive 2K. So I'm going to show you guys how to slow down the offense a little bit. Uh, my fault for blabbering, but I had to let people know it's a set defense people run. Uh, people think we're, we're just in zone, but it's like a matchup zone. I spam 2-3 zone also, guys. Another tip, I spam 2-3 zone because for years, for like six years, 2K gives you better steal animations and you face the ball. Instead of facing your man, you face the ball. You see how we're all facing the ball? So it gives you better steal animations and you just play better D. So you don't want to be a man because if you're a man, you're going to face your man and you can't get no lane steals. So I spam 2-3 every play. So just spam 2-3 zone. And yeah, we're going to get into it right now. So right away, we're going to watch this defensive play right here and fold. Right here, Ado plays good defense. BP had a little crab, but he steps. So he stage P stepped a little bit. And this is usually too far for a triangle, but this is what we call a triangle. Triangle is usually when the lock plays like the middle of the court uh, stage. The power forward plays the right side or left side, depending on where you run the triangle. And the center drops and the power forward goes to the corner. So that's triangle. Usually you want to run triangle when they're like right on the wing because it's way easier. So imagine uh, Ado's right here on the right wing. Stage is like right here, right wing, right corner. And it's easy because stage could just play the hash high, run to the corner, rainbow drops. Right here is a little too far to do a triangle, but we did it anyway. So remember, with triangle, you want your lock to guard the middle of the court. Uh, you want your power forward to guard the same wing so you can release the center side. So you can only run triangle when you're on the center side of the court. Like you can't run triangle when I'm on, like 
if I was like, for example, if I was in the right corner, you can't run triangle with me because I, that's going to mean I drop to the paint and I can't get a stop on a big man that stick dunks. So you can't run rotations with me. You'll see as a point guard when I make the offensive tips and tricks video, you'll see that like, you'll know where rotations are coming from depending on where the point guard is. So nothing can happen on this side for real because I'm a point guard. So you'll, you'll see a lot of action on the center side a lot of the times. So remember triangle is when the lock guards the middle, the power forward guards the wing of the same side as the center, and then he releases to the corner. So let's see the triangle right here in action. Boom. Rainbow drops down, uh, tries booking him. He throws a pass right here. Boom. That's a good little rotation. Nothing was open. We were in a good rotation right there. That's called triangle. Now, Draco. Draco, red hair. He's calling stack. So now we're going into stack. So this is how elite my team's defense is. So they went into the stack rotation. If you guys don't know what stack is. Remember, the rotations are always ran to a big man's side. So now we have our power forward in the corner. We have our center and pick a row. And Draco called stack. So with stack, it's um with stack, you wanna the ball the guy who's guarding the ball, you wanna shade the ball and hold it as much as possible. So the guy on the left or the right, but the guy that's on the left right here, Ramo, he gives him enough time to get ball. And then this guy releases. We'll see an action right here, but you see. Draco is giving him enough time to get back on the ball. Then stage drops. Ado drops to the corner. Draco releases to the wing. So everything's pretty much guarded. But with stack, when you call it, you just want to shade this a little bit until your until your pick and roll defender guards him, and then you get back. I know he was open for a split second, but it's kind of hard to like die. But we'll get into that video later. But we're gonna look at it again. But Right here, we're gonna look at it again, guys. They ran a triangle, a deep triangle. I wouldn't recommend running a triangle from this deep, but it's a deep triangle. Boom. Then Draco called stack. So with stack, he releases to the right wing. He holds it a little bit, but releases to the right wing. Right wing goes to the right corner. Right corner drops in the pick and roll, and the pick and roll defender guards the ball. So he shades it a little bit, and then he releases to the right wing. He called stack. And then late drop, good defense right there. I'm gonna show you guys more rotations, guys. Obviously, we foul right there. That's a good foul right there. You want to foul on the old boards, really good foul. That was a good defensive possession right there, guys. All right, guys, this is another good defensive play right here. So, Ado got bodied, stage is guarding ball, right? So, they just called a switch, right? Now, they you could call this wherever you want, but. This is this could be called a switch into a reverse or a straight up triangle. I don't I know it gets kind of confusing, but if you're guarding ball like stage is right here, if he's guarding ball, say for example he's on ball, he could he could run to the corner by calling. So I don't know how to explain this. I gotta explain. I gotta make this a little bit like more simple. So stage is guarding ball, right? He's yelling reverse. So when you yell reverse, reverse means. Yo, I'm guarding him, but I'm going to release to the corner so the guy in the middle pick him up. So remember, you can only call reverse in these rotations on the center side. So center's right here, Raymo, stage is on ball, and he's called reverse. So reverse, you guard the dude's hash really heavy, and you release. So triangle and reverse is kind of the same thing, but you only call reverse if you're the on-ball defender. So if you're the shooting guard or anybody, and you're guarding him right here, say for example... I'm on ball. If I'm on ball and I call reverse, that means I'm letting my team know, yo, pick a roll defender. Guard is middle. Pick him up. Because I'm about, to, I'm about to leave and run to the corner. And the center drop. So, stage right here is calling reverse. He's like, reverse, reverse, reverse. So, everyone knows, okay, Ado knows I have to pick him up now because he's going to release to the corner and Rainbow drops. So, stage is like, reverse, reverse, reverse. Boom. So, I know it looks like a triangle. Triangle is uh, when like a, when the power four calls there, the center calls it, lock could call it sometimes. But when you're on ball, you could call a reverse for yourself. So if you want to play his uh, hash really aggressive, you want to go for a blitz. So stage picks him up, and then he's like, okay, reverse it, reverse it, reverse it. Boom, and he gets out of there. So usually when you're guarding the ball and you're, you're not really comfortable guarding the ball handler or you want to switch it up, you could call reverse and then run to the corner. 
But to to do reverse, you have to guard the hash and then let the person in the middle pick him up and then you just run to the corner. All right, guys, so right here is another example right here. Right here, Ado calls stack. So remember with stack, guys, he's playing his side, which is the right side, and he's shading it a little bit. And then he runs to the uh, wing, and the wing drops to the corner, and the corner drops to the paint. So right here, he, he's screaming stack, 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 stack. As you guys can see, he's playing the right heavy with this stack. There's not really anything you can do. Uh, you could throw the quick slip, but he'll meet him in time. It's a little cat and mouse game. I guess he could throw the slip, but a lot of point guards throw the slip kind of late or not on time. But you could also jump it. It's kind of a, it's kind of complicated. But I'll make a video on how to dot it. But yeah, as you guys can see, uh, you want to mix it up. He's kind of BP's kind of confused because we kind of played straight up defense for a couple possessions, and then randomly we went into this. It's kind of obvious to tell when they're about to run it, but they did a good defense right here, as you guys can see. Ado's calling stack. Uh, he's getting ready to release to the right wing. Right wing drops right corner. Center drops to the paint. Pick and roll defender guards ball. Remember these power forwards have like 90 perimeters. So they could guard ball. They have 91 steal. They could get they could get steals. So pretty much power, the back end defender picks up ball. The guy who's guarding the ball releases right wing. Right wing drops right corner. Big man that's in the right corner drops on the roll. So he's calling stack. He's like, stack it, stack it, stack it. Boom. They release right there. And yeah, I think they end up getting boxed right here. Oh, yeah. Rainbow asked for a high low. He ain't get it. High low, guys, is when you play up high and then someone behind you gets the paint. So, like, stage is supposed to get the paint right there. He ain't high low it. And yeah, but we play good defense for the whole shot clock pretty much. So. All right, guys, this is another example of a triangle. Stage playing his his wing. He's not guarding ball, car reverse. He just called a triangle. He's like triangle, triangle, triangle. So he guards the wing for a split second, then releases corner. Remember the difference between a triangle and a reverse, guys. You call reverse when you're stuck on ball for more than like two seconds, and you want to get out of there to the corner. Triangle is something you call right away. You just you just shade or guard the right wing for a quick second, and then you release to the corner, and the center drops. Remember, with triangle, your lock can't get beat middle. Your lock, your lock has to play the middle of the court. Your pick and roll defender guards the same hash, and then he releases to the corner with the center, and the center drops. So right here, he's like triangle, triangle, triangle. As you guys notice, all the rotations deal with the center dropping so you need to put your center in a position where he's dropping because i can't do anything point guards can't do anything my job is to make sure i don't get cut on which i'm playing good cut defense and late could test the shot get a test and i'll put a box out and then release so my job is pretty easy my job is to make sure i don't get i just don't get killed by cuts so i do a good job of that i'm a really good uh cut defender and I'll make my job, I'll make my team's job easier. So they don't have to worry about my cuts. So pretty much at point guard guys, you just want to guard your cuts, box out, don't get shot over. Pretty easy job, but they never run rotations for the guard. It's usually the shooting guard, power forward, lock, center. So we didn't even get into the shooting guard running rotations yet because they're doing such a good job. But right here, remember, power forward's guarding the hash and he releases corner. A little triangle action right there. That's called triangle. As you guys can see, we didn't even call anything right here, but it's just a lot of like, instincts a lot of defensive plays are made off instincts so if you guys don't really play the game a lot and you don't really have instincts it's going to be kind of hard because sometimes there's stuff that you can't call and you just got to go you just got to go with your gut feeling your instincts so right here we didn't even call anything we just went with our instincts but you guys see it's the same principle pretty much uh our centers on the right lock gets beat my power four drops guess who's dropping in the paint the center guess who's rotating to the corner my shooting guard boom same principle guys same exact principle and we get the ball <laughs> so sometimes you can't even call things you just gotta go you gotta trust your teammates you just gotta go so that's a little that's a little skill gap also guys it comes with reps and just playing with your teammates and getting chemistry you just gotta have that instinct just go sometimes just go with your gut so right here guys stage is calling stack so so we're gonna run the rotation right here boom draco plays the left Stage is calling stack, 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 stack. So they just play his right. Then he releases out of there. Boom, he's shading him for a split second, releases out of there. That's actually bad, good defense. That's actually. So, right here, guys, you have two options. 
the power four could call stack, which what Sage is doing, or the shooting guard Draco could call reverse stack. So Draco could call reverse stack, which means this guy right here, the back end, releases right there, and he stays on ball. Or you could call stack. So right here, Sage is calling stack. Draco's ended up on ball. Stage is, remember, you guys know this rotation. Stack is really simple. Uh, he's going to blitz this. He go blitz this middle and then release wing. That's what the pick roll defender always does. If he calls stack, he's just going to shade it and then release the wing. The wing defender is going to release corner. Corner defender is going to drop in the paint. So, yeah, stack is the most used rotation in 2K. Stack and reverse. So, we're going to get into it right here. Stage is called stack, so that means Draco is going to stay on ball. But Stage is going to play his middle heavy until he gets back. He shows it for a split second. He got blitz it, but blitzes are really bad. He shows it for a split second. Draco has to get back. Center drops. Ado drops the right corner. This guy releases to wing. As you guys can see, nothing's really open. Because the center could drop on the center slip pass and block it. But... BP could green this though. It's kind of bad defense. It's kind of I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Is this good defense or bad defense? I think it's pretty good defense. But he could still green this. It's Patty Mills with Sharp Badge. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. Alright, guys, so right here, uh, I think Ado call reverse, but he ain't releasing time. And we didn't really trust it. And we messed up on this call, but as you guys can see what reverse is. The lock is supposed to guard the right wing and release corner. And the power four is supposed to pick up ball, but the center has to get there in time. Like center has to slip, the uh, rainbow has to get on the on the roll man way quicker, and Ado has to release way quicker. So when you call reverse, you're the, you're guarding the ball, and then you release to your same side corner. The corner drops, but we did really sloppy here. I think we miscommunicated or made the call a little late because rainbow ain't drop right away, and Ado still on ball. So this is a bad situation in reverse. If we called reverse cleanly. Uh, this we would have got to stop, but we didn't. I gotta show you guys some mess ups too because I don't know what happened here. I think Ado called reverse, but didn't release in the corner. I don't know what happened. And Rainbow's supposed to drop earlier. Uh, some miscommunication happened, but you guys get the point. Right here is good defense by Ado, Stage, and Rainbow. As you guys can see, Stage is faking like it's a triangle. He's baiting it. He's pretending he's going the right wing. And once you see this as a point guard. You're thinking they're by a triangle. And I'm going to show you guys how it counters triangles and defense rotations in my next video. But right here, Sage is going to wing heavy to, to uh, give up the slip into Raymo so Raymo could drop. But he's baiting it. He's not really running a triangle. He's making BP think he's running a triangle. He's getting back on the slip. And we're just right under it. Uh, I think he gets stick dunk because stick dunk is so overpowered. No, he actually got to stop. Wow. 2K actually bailed him out. But he... Stage is elite for that because he faked the triangle. So it's a bunch of mind games, guys. You could fake rotations. Uh, you could just play straight up defense with man. Uh, just play straight up defense, straight up bump, but sprinkle in rotations a little bit. And then you can start faking rotations. Right here, I would if I'm a point guard, I would think they're about to run triangle because look at how they're positioned. The point guard doesn't, uh, the lock isn't getting beat to the middle. The power forward is just holding the hash, playing the side. If the center slips, the center's going to drop. And the power four runs to the corner. This just looks like a triangle rotation, but Stage fakes it and it gets back. <laughs> so that's elite defense by Stage, my power four. That's elite defense. He faked the triangle. So that's elite ball right there. You can fake rotations. You can play man to man, straight up defense, and then you can sprinkle in some rotations. So that's good fake defense, fake triangle right there. Right here, this isn't even a rotation, but. I got beat for the first time on my cut, and this is what your power four is supposed to do. I say this all the time, and like some people argue with me. I think, I truly think power forward is the most important position in NBA 2K24. You guys can say whatever you want, you can argue with me, whatever, but I truly think power forward is more important than point guard. I think power forward is the most important position on 2K. Uh, in the past, it never was important at all. But the past two, three, two Ks, it's the most important position on the game. Because your power forward is like your uh, your leader on defense. It's your like best player on defense, pretty much. And this is the reason why right here. He has to call the rotations. He has to be quarterback on defense. And plus, if I get beat on cut, look at him. He plays the cut, too. Like, he has to guard BP's three. BP has Patty Mills. He has to call rotations. 
and he sits on my cut. I got beat on the cut, and he plays it. Like, power forward is so stressful and hard, guys. You got to guard everything. If your lock gets killed, the lock is like, yo, where's my power forward? Uh... If I get killed on back doors, they're going to blame the power forward. Power forward gets blamed for everything. If you don't call rotations or speak a lot on power forward, you get blamed. So power forward, man, if you're the best defensive player on your team or the best player on your team, I say play power forward, bro, because power forward is game changing. But, yeah, that's a good play by stage. I just got to give him respect right there. He's guarding the three, and he's guarding my cut. That, that man's special right there. So, yeah, power forward is stressful, guys. Power forward is stressful. Right here, we run a terrible stack rotation. Uh... They both play the safe side. They both played right. That's terrible. Uh, BP had this shot. I don't know why he didn't shoot it. He got baited. And we go into a stack, but it looked really ugly because my lock got beat left. So he took a bad shot. We got to communicate on that. It's going to be, uh, you're going to mess up sometimes, but you want to make sure it's clean as possible. You don't chase. Uh, this would have been an easy stack rotation. Stage guards to right, releases right wing. You know, same mode, same mode. You guys see that comp teams use the stack rotation 80% of the time, 15% of the time they call reverse, 5% triangle, and then sprinkle in some man. But as you guys see, they got they both got beat right. Ado blue hair, the lock should have played the left. Stage has his middle and then releases right wing. Uh, he messed up, Stage did it anyway. He shades his middle a little bit and he releases right wing. He shoots a heavy, and yeah, so. Yeah, we messed up on our rotation. Still gotta stop. Still gotta stop. You guys can see right here. What, what What's coming, guys? What do you think is coming? What rotation do you guys think is coming? Uh, is it gonna be reverse? Is it gonna be triangle? Is it gonna be reverse stack? Is it gonna be stack? What rotation is coming? What do you guys think? Locks on the left. Power forwards playing middle heavy. Centers itching to drop. What rotation is coming? If you guys guess stack, let me guess. It's stack. So he guards his middle heavy, drops on the slip, powerful releases <laughs> releases wing, shooter guard drops, they get back to the pick and roll, and they just run another rotation again. So this is just elite ball right here. But it's kind of obvious to know what people run, you know? I will show you guys how to break down stack and stuff like that. But Draco ends up calling reverse, getting out of there. Boom. So we just stacked into a reverse. So this is just elite gameplay right here. But come on, this is obvious right here to read. Like, look at the way they're playing. So obvious. So obvious. This is a stack, right? So this is a stack. Boom. Now they switch back into PNR. They called it. They switch back to PNR. He dots them. Draco's guarding ball, but it's nine seconds left. So he's like, you know what? Reverse. So you're the shooting guard. Now we're getting to the shooting guard rotation. It's really easy. Remember, everything deals with the center, wherever the center is. The center's on the right, right? But it could be, you could flip it the other way also. If the center's on the left and I'm here, you could call something over here. You get what I'm saying? Everything deals with the center. You gotta see where the center is. You gotta identify where the center is. Because you can't run no rotations with your point guard. So. Draco, the shooting guard, is guarding ball. He's guarding his wing heavy because if he calls reverse, he releases to the same side corner, and the person guarding PNR picks up ball, and the right corner drops. So he's calling reverse, 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 reverse. So he's getting out of there. Power forward picks up, center drops. Boom. And stop. So remember, these are the only two rotations you really need to know. You can sprinkle in some triangle, sprinkle in some man. Dude, bump, just straight up bump. You could fake fake rotations, but only thing you guys really need to know is stack and reverse, bro. Really simple. And this is a perfect example right here of stack and reverse, and we ran it all at once against BP, the be one of the best scores of all t of all time. So right here, boom, lock plays the left side, power forward plays the right, shades it a little bit, runs out, boom. They just uh they just called a stack. Boom. They went into reverse. So we're gonna let it play out. We're gonna let it play out. Stack. They get back into the PNR. Draco's call reverse, so he gets out of there. Boom. 
that's how you run it right there, man. That's all you guys really need to know. Stacks or reverse, that's all you really know, guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. You guys are the best. This is how you run rotations, man. Remember, learn stack, learn reverse. Sprinkle in some reverse stack. Mix it up, fake rotations. Uh, do some man. I love you guys. You guys are the best in the world. Road to 10,000 subscribers. And yeah, this is rotations people do not want you to know, guys. I love you guys. As I hit, hold on, before I end this video. Patty Mills, man. Patty Mills. Like I said, guys, this is an offensive 2K. This is an offensive 2K. Make sure you guys get this down, please. I love you guys. I'm out.